Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a product review, which is kind of just me saying this product is awesome because I have been using it already and you guys have been seeing it in my videos and it is basically this glue stand. So you may have seen it already, you may have not, but let's do a whole product review guys. So if you guys are not familiar, this is a company called Standy and this is what happened. Okay. So they sent me this, but this I bought on my own. I actually was reaching out to them and I was asking them if they sell just the foam pads alone because this is what I did to my glue or to my Standy over time. Like this might happen and I have like this giant bubble of glue. Um, I did wash this previously about three times already and I soaked it under hot water. The foam pad has stayed there and held up, but I soak it under hot water so I could get this glue off. So I've done it about three times already, but I was at the point where I just wanted a new foam pad. So I reached out to them. They told me they do not sell the foam pads by themselves, but that they would send me, um, a new Sandy. And I was like, oh, okay that's fantastic so i was like of course yes because i already used this product and i needed a new one um so i'm gonna show you guys how it works but it just it keeps your glue standing guys and when you're crafting this is so helpful because i'm no longer looking for my glue that's like rolling around it's no longer dripping onto my desk um, and it's not rolling around and gets not getting shoved under like tons of papers as I'm album making and it's just always on my cute little standee. That's what it's called. Standee. It's so cute. Okay. So I'm going to unbox this new one because I needed a new one anyway. And that's exactly what I was going to be purchasing. Um, but then they told me they would just send me one. So, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. And I'm happy about that. So, um, yeah, no leaks, no mess, no waste. Yes, guys, you do have to like put it down a certain way on the foam pad, which I will show you guys because if it's on the edge here where like if your tip ends up being on the edge there where it's not in the foam pad, obviously it's going to leak because the foam is not stopping it then if you're placing it that way. But this keeps your glue in place. I've used this with the Barely Arts glue. I've also used it with my bigger glue, which I'll show you guys in a second, and also just my bigger tip. I have a bunch of different tips, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's open this up. And I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. And uh, guys, I'm going to have a link down below to this product. It is amazing. If you don't have one already, you need one in your life. It is a true lifesaver. And it does come with a spare foam pad as well. So if you need the second foam pad, if you don't want to wash it like I was doing, which did work and just took some time, but if you didn't want to wash it, then it does come with a spare one. So I'm going to take this off. Oh, I could have just done that. <laughs> okay. So it says that glue doesn't clog during use. True. The glue doesn't leak when used upside down. True, you just have to make sure it's on the foam pad. Optimal tilt for fluid until container is empty. Guys, yes, that is so important. You're no longer waiting there, shaking the glue for it to come out. It's always, oh, see, I, I just shook it and it came out. <laughs> okay, so yeah. And you guys see how I didn't have it on the end there before? There's a little drop of glue. And my pad's not working so much so well anymore because... I'm sticking it on this mountain of glue, but let me put that into the foam pad piece. Okay. So, but I, you guys see, I've been using this for quite some time now. All right. So to put this together, this is what you get. There's already a foam pad on here and then there's a spare foam pad as well. Oh, I didn't even know they come with white. Mine came with the pink. Um, does, do they all come with white now and a spare pink one? Interesting. Um, anyway, I mean, it's just a noticing. It's not like interesting. It's just a noticing. Um, so this you're going to bend because there is that like score line there. So just bend that 
along the side and I like my heart one so they have um two kinds they have the single pack and they have like a two pack on Amazon I will have both linked for you guys but I really like the heart one <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have something pretty just standing there all the time I might as well have a pretty one right um so then you bend this other piece so easy guys right and then you bend this piece and this just slides right into there and it keeps it closed and you're good to go okay that's it guys so I'm gonna put my glue down here just make sure it's flat down but it's always standing there I've never actually had this tip over either which is great um, so that's fantastic and I'm so happy they sent me two because I'm gonna take one to work with me and that's gonna be great or actually, maybe I'll have one on my filming desk because the other day I was super lazy to grab um, my standee from my regular desk to my filming desk. I do in some videos and some videos I'm like, oh, I'm so lazy. I'm definitely going to keep these foam pads. Definitely put those in a safe space, guys. It'll prolong the use of your standee. And then this one, same thing. So this is another pattern they have what it looks that like and I think they might have stars also I think I've seen stars okay so I'm just gonna fold these bits and pieces it's already scored for me it's fantastic all I gotta do is just fold it so there's three pieces you're folding and then you're snapping it together look at that okay so there's that glue there's this glue and I've also used it with another one that I'm going to show you. So I also have this reptile glue that I use. You can see this is a lot bigger than these ones and I'm going to show you. Let me unclog this one. I think it's clogged. There we go. And see, no drip. And same thing with this one. It doesn't fall over and this is so much heavier you just got to make sure that your glue is facing down just like that you see there's no drip whatsoever there's still no drip from this one because it doesn't drip guys it doesn't leak it doesn't drip it's fantastic so no, oh okay me lifting that up you could see it left a little glue because obviously I was lifting it up and the glue is at the bottom but it didn't like leak out. I'm just gonna wipe that off before I get a mountain of glue on there also. But yeah, this thing is fantastic guys. I highly recommend it and I'm so happy they decided to send me one because I was already using it and you guys may have seen it in my videos. So I'm gonna have a link down below for the standee in my description box and down below. So check it out. You guys need one if you haven't bought one already and it's gonna be a game changer in your craft room. No more waiting for the glue to get to the bottom and no more shaking it with glue flying everywhere and no more losing your glue under piles and piles of paper as you're crafting because we know that crafting could get super duper messy, right guys? It does for me at least. I mean, don't tell me it doesn't get messy because for me, there's paper everywhere all the time, scoreboards, paper cutters piled on top of one another. It just, everything gets lost. So I like to have my standee and what I do with my glue that has the little needle, I just put the needle right on the back there so I don't lose that either and it stays because this isn't moving anywhere. Um, all right guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review video and that is everything. I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Don't forget to check them out down below. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.